Hello again guys. Today I'm back with another Chevy Cruze diesel video. Uh, unfortunately I have a check engine light on. It's P205B which deals with this reductant tank temperature sensor circuit performance. Uh, about two years ago I had this unit replaced here. Uh, the dealer did a really messy job. That's why you see all this dried up crystallized exhaust fluid everywhere. They forgot to put this line back on and it just laid here for a few weeks until I happened to notice it. I should have checked their work. It's another reason why I hate dealerships but I had to take it there because it was under warranty. So it was two years ago so I am assuming this reductant tank heater is still good. Um, there's this temperature sensor here which I'm going to replace today. I have a new one. This was the cheapest option of the two. This is about a hundred bucks. I think this is around 300. So I'm hoping this is the problem, but again, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to replace it and see if that uh, trouble code goes away. Looks like a couple simple connections here. I have to clean this crystallized exhaust fluid off and uh, take this apart and replace it with a new one. Okay, these purple little plastic things, you just pull them up like so, and then this connector, pull right out like that. Same thing with this side. I have a, some crystallized exhaust fluid here. This stuff's a mess. I hate it. Same thing. Pull this off. <clears throat> uh, this little yellow plastic piece here looks like it's a, a mount for this. So I believe this slides in this channel here like that so it's secure. Uh, the dealer didn't put that back into position of course because they don't care. So uh, I'm going to uh, get rid of this and uh, install the new one and then clean this up a little bit. This is just a mess. Okay, here we have the new sensor. Simply slide this end in and then once it's in there. You push the purple plastic piece down to lock it in place. Same thing with this side. It's locked into place. And uh, here is the part number. You can see um, the tag there. Um, this made in. It's actually made in Germany if you look through the back. You can see um, Germany here, so it's a Bosch sensor made in Germany. I hope that's the problem. Uh, we will see if that uh, check engine light goes out. Might have to drive it for a while until the computer notices it, but um, we'll find out here shortly. I'm going to go ahead and clean this area up here. It's, it's just a mess. Okay, I cleaned this up the best I could without really tearing everything apart. Um, I have the new sensor secured and in place. Um, now, it's just a matter of time to see if that uh, check engine light goes out. If it does, great. If not, I believe it's probably this reductant tank unit there, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to go ahead and put everything back together here, put this little insulator back on and it's held in with these three plastic little fasteners that I have over here. These three things, they simply just uh, go right down over top like so. Okay, that's it. And then you have this that goes in. Okay, and lastly, the carpet. All right, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Take care 
And feel free to subscribe, like it, comment, ask a question, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Take care, guys.